before being taken down. So not only do they convert on fourth, but they pick up 22 yards in the process. With my good friend Charles Davis, Brandon Gauden with you. It's the Panthers in possession of the football as we begin quarter number two. And they've got it here with a first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he'll bring this one inside the 35. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? They'll run it now out of the gun. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It's a loss of two, now third down. The Panthers on third down, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and four. Ready. 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 Now Newton. And he gets it to bunch is complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Newton finding Funches for the Panther first down. Here we go. Newton going to hand it off to McCaffrey. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. The tackle will be credited to Jake Ryan. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. They'll give it up to McCaffrey. And not much. Maybe a yard down to the 23. But he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far. And after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going. And really, the offensive line not helping him much. The Panthers on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and nine. Here's Newton. He's going to go on top for the end zone. And that'll be caught. Touchdown, Panthers. Olsen. Greg Olsen. 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Panthers are now an extra point away from... this game Graham Gano on for the extra point Gano the extra point and we are tied at seven So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And it's been a miserable start for them offensively, obviously. Two drives, two interceptions. And this is where you have to know your quarterback and know how you actually have to reach him. Do you do it with a little bit of humor? Maybe you break the ice a little bit like, hey, didn't we practice in that color jersey all week, <laughs> not the one that you're throwing it to? Or maybe you have to be stern with him. But whatever it's going to take to get the message, it has to be done. He's putting the game in jeopardy. 
They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. It's caught outright by Graham. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Two minutes to play in a tightly contested first half. Right, okay. We're back to Lambeau following these words. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. That's complete to his tight end. This is Lance Kendricks. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Seeing that play and understanding just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays, makes me glad I didn't make it in that league. I would have had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up here with me. Yeah, and that's fun, isn't it? And <laughs> what a really nice game right there on first down for them. Brings up a nice second down for them. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. At five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. You From midfield, here's Rodgers. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Mario Addison in there to bury him for a loss of 11. Defensive end gets in there that time. They were in a 4-3. What's the responsibility of the ends versus the tackles there, Charles? Well, most of the time, when you're talking about the ends, right, they're your pass one. rushers. They're, yeah. they're the guys that you turn yeah. loose to try and get to the guy who's going to throw the football. The tackles, usually more of the run-stuffing variety. But the way this game is advanced, you're wanting a little bit of everything out of all of your guys. But let's just go ahead and break it down and make it simple. The guy who's the right defensive end versus a right-handed quarterback, that's the blind side. He's going after the quarterback. He's going to put him on the ground. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now Rodgers. He's going to air one out. And that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. Anytime a defense can sit back in a zone like that, it tends to create a lot of congestion in the middle of the field. Makes it very hard to slot one in. Looked like I-4 at rush hour in your hometown of Orlando, Florida. An absolute mess. On fourth down, J.K. Scott ready to punt it away. It's just a 32-yard punt with no return. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. The Panthers' offense here, they get ready to head back on the field. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk-takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. On first down, Newton. Step, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 seven, seven our score. That'll be taken in the end zone. And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. 
Out come the Panthers. They'll have it first on offense in the third quarter. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half. What do they have dialed up that'll give them an advantage to move the ball downfield? Let's find out what they have dialed up. On first down, it's Newton. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. So, Charles, tie game here. What are your keys as we continue to play this second half? I know people think it's always trite when you say the same things over and over, but they're tried and true in the game of football. Who's going to block better? Who's going to tackle better? In this case, to me, it's turnovers. You've got to take care of the football in order to win the game. Back to the air, Newton on second down. Funches with a catch over the middle. And they're able to get this one across the 35. We'll give him 10 yards on that one, and that'll earn him a fresh set of downs. So from the 36 now, first and 10. This is McCaffrey on the give. And he'll get this up to about the 38-yard line. Kenny Clark, the big D tackle there to make the stop. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. To throw on second down is Newton. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball, and we see yet another errant throw as a result. The Panthers on third down. Two for five to this point. This is third and seven. A shotgun snap for Newton. Being chased out left. Airing it out for Olsen. And look at this. Cam Newton intercepted a third time. Picked off by Tremont Williams. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Rodgers will break the huddle and bring the pack up first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. Now Rodgers on the bootleg. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. He was looking for the tight end, Lance Kendricks, there. And that'll bring up second down. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. On play action, Rodgers, the dump underneath the Jones. And they're able to bring him down at the 20. Give him two yards on that play, and that'll bring up a third down. Well, it's tough to be a defender in today's NFL because there's so many things to account for in today's passing game, including the back sneaking out of the backfield. Not quite as bad as a turkey bowl where you have that center-eligible stuff, but still a lot of guys to account for. Now a play fake. Rodgers. He's got his target. It's Cobb. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. And a big third down conversion with a gain of 28. Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. They'll go again to Jones. 
And there is nowhere for him to cut back as he's taken down in the backfield. Call that a loss of five yards on the play. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. Well. Play action. Now it's Rodgers. And able to find Graham. Complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That one goes for 29 yards on third down. Now Rodgers. And this is caught at the end. That one goes for 24 yards. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? That sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. They'll try and run it in with Jones. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. One back in the game. That's Jones, second and goal. He'll get it up the middle. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Green Bay touchdown. A great effort there. Taking it in from four yards out. And the Packers are able to cash in for six. Now Crosby for the point after. Could be a critical miss here in a one-score game in the fourth. Crosby on now to kick it away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. Carolina getting set to take the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. To throw again, Newton. And Olsen over the middle. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. And a nice gain of 21 yards. They had two tight ends in the formation on that one. It looked to me like he had his pick of receivers downfield. I think he was just planning on going over the middle. That's what he did. Picked up first down, too. Newton now six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. From the gun, here's Newton. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands guess what? Creates a lot of confusion. Kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football. 
And now whistles and a flag. And I think we got a jump here. And the movement there coming from the middle of the line. And you understand he wants to get off the ball quickly, but the ball's right in front of him. He has to watch it move first. So the penalty certainly helps them out as they come up on second and five. McCaffrey following the penalty. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. This is Newton off the play fake to McCaffrey. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, we're not playing three yards in the cloud of dust football anymore. I kind of get why those old school coaches sometimes didn't want to throw the football. Because if it's popped up in the air, it almost turns into slow motion. And both sides trying to get to the football, and you're holding your breath wondering whether it's going to go good or bad for your team. Desperation time. Newton, fourth down. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. That's a fourth down pickup of 10 yards and an opportunity certainly missed on the defensive side. Newton now has hit on just 7 of 17 passes, 41%. Back to the ground attack here. It's McCaffrey. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. On second down, here's Newton. And that one almost intercepted. Far too loose with the football here. Nearly a fourth pick, and it's third down. I'm trying to decipher what's going on out there because I don't know if he's just getting bad reads. I don't know if the defense is confusing him. I don't know if he just has, you know, bad info and intel before he snaps the ball. But he's made some pretty bad decisions with the football. There's several bad decisions on the interceptions he's thrown, and frankly, that should have been another pick right there. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. So down six, and they know they need this one on fourth down. Time for a break. We're back to see what happens after this. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And this is caught. He hits more. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. To it. That would have sealed him. Instead, second down. So he's unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark really start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here? Or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. Back to throw. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. 
Picked up by the Michigan man, Jake Ryan. And he'll be brought down at his own 10-yard line. Well, I don't think we'll have to look very hard to find our play of the game. That was an absolutely monstrous big play right there. Backs to the wall. The offense has it in the red zone. Driving for the winning score. And he says, not on my watch. And that is one happy bunch on the sidelines. They'll start out on the ground with Jones. And he'll find some room to get this up to about the 14. In on the tackle there, Luke Keekley. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. They'll run with a backup. This is Williams. And he tried to bounce it outside, but they'll stop him behind the line. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. And, Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good about that victory. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Packers are winners here as we say so long from Lambeau.